Okay, here's a musical quiz. What two forms of jazz did Herbie Hancock say were the most influential ever? The blues was one, and I Got Rhythm was the other. And that's why he recorded this tune, Cottontail, on his Gershwin's World CD. I'm Ron Drotus, and welcome to my journey through the real book, number 73. This is Duke Ellington's famous tune, Cottontail, and yes, it is I Got Rhythm Changes. Um, uh, for some reason, in the original real book, it was in the key of A flat, so a lot of people learned it in A flat, including me, and then I remember trying to play along with the uh, Ellington recording from the early 40s, the, the famous one, and, and thinking, wait, this is in the wrong key. <laughs> Don't know why it was in A flat. Who knows? We'd have to track down the originators of the real book, but uh, uh, they're, they're not letting themselves be known uh, because it wasn't really on the up and up when they, when they first uh, published it in the 70s. But um, now Hal Leonard luckily publishes it legally and it's in the right key as well. So, I Got Rhythm. It's uh, not an easy form to play over. Um, uh, and I'm not sure why. I mean, it, it should be. It's just A-A-B-A. -A -A. The bridge is pretty straightforward. But, you know, this sort of... Gershman's tune. Um, I don't know why, but it, it took me decades to feel comfortable uh, over this. You know, playing a lot of exercises. You know, just just getting my fingers through it. So, you know, be persistent. Um, the thing I like about it, though, is that you can go in any direction with rhythm changes, just like the blues. You can play it stride, you can do that boom chick thing like I was doing. You can take it out. It can be riff oriented. whatever you want to do. So I think I'm going to start with a uh, pedal tone in my left hand. Oh, by the way, one thing about the form, it's written in A-A-B-A -A -A form here. 8-8 eight, eight, uh, with the bridge 8 and then the last 8 measures. But when you listen to the original Duke Ellington recording with his um, big band, it's now called the Blanton Webster Band, and um, Ben Webster took the famous tenor sax solo, you should check out on this. But uh, when they did it, they played the bridge, and then after the bridge, they just played like a little four measure or something, a little outro, and then it just went right to the solos. So he didn't really play this as an A-A-B-A -A form. Um, it was part of a larger concept, sort of like when Mozart or somebody would have some phrases longer and shorter than the others because they, they, they uh, wanted a certain flow. That's really part of Ellington's genius. You know, He wrote a tune based on rhythm changes and didn't include the last four measures when, he, when, when they first state the melody. Genius. I'm going to start with a, uh, an F pedal, and this, this melody really just crackles over it. So, -da -da -de -da. This is right before the bebop era, the early 40s, like 41, 42, somewhere in there, 40. And um, it, it was in the air. Bebop was in the air. And this is like, uh, it's what my piano teacher, Billy Taylor, would have called pre-bop. Sort of had elements of bebop without being full-fledged bebop.
love that tune. I love playing rhythm changes now that I finally can do it after all those years of being frustrated. Um, but you keep going, right? It's fun frustration. It's like, oh, I want to get this. But at the same time, you're enjoying every moment. Stick with it. Um, be persistent. Study, practice, learn, jam with your friends, and um, have a great time. Enjoy the ride. Jazz is an amazing, amazing journey. And good luck with your playing.